Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here. It's time to remember and celebrate. Are you excited? Me too. Let's start by asking God to join us. Father God, we thank you that we can gather in your name. We ask you to be here too. We pray that this time would bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys, today Mr. Leland is going to take us back over the last few weeks to review the Big God story. You might remember we've covered a lot of ground and we've heard some really powerful stories and we've learned a lot about who God is. But before we get into all of that, let's practice our memory verse. Hey guys, I hope that you are memorizing this short verse that we have this month that holds so much good truth for us to hold on to in this season of Thanksgiving. Let me remind you of it. It comes out of Psalm 136 too, and it says, give thanks to the God of gods. His love endures forever. So let's do that now with our signs. Give thanks to the God of gods. His love endures forever. Psalm 136, 2. Let's do it one more time. Give thanks to the God of gods. His love endures forever. Psalm 136, 2. I pray that you are having a blessed Thanksgiving season, and I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks, Miss Jenny. Okay, friends, it's time to stand up and worship with our whole body.
use our hearts and minds. Will you pray with me? Father God, thank you for giving us the Bible. What a gift it is to know you through your word. We thank you that we can trust your word and that you are faithful to keep the promises that are written there. Holy Spirit, would you soften our hearts so that we can hear your truth? In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys, let's get busy remembering and celebrating. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to this fun time where we remember and celebrate all that God has done in the past and what he is doing now. So what I want to do is take a look at some of the awesome, awesome things that we have seen from the wardrobe of wonder. And, you know, I'm really curious what we're going to see first. So let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. A tambourine. Have any of you ever played a tambourine? 
As a matter of fact, I have one right here. <laughs> it makes a beautiful jingling, jingling noise, right? Do you remember who played instruments and sang praises to God in the big God story? That's right, it was the Israelites. They were celebrating the fact that God rescued them from Egypt and brought them safely across the Red Sea. Only God could have done all the miracles in Egypt and saved his people from slavery because he is the one true God. So what's the next thing? Hmm. A loaf of bread. Where have we seen this in the big God story? That's right. God provided something white all over the ground for his people when they were wandering in the desert. They gathered it every morning when they woke up, and the people called the food manna, and they used it to make bread. God wanted the people to know that his care was wonderful. Remember, God's care is wonderful. What's the next thing? A trumpet? Friends, what sound does a trumpet make? That's right. A, a trumpet blast is very loud, and it, be, it can be heard from far, far away. There was a time in the Big God story when God used a trumpet sound as a special signal. Do you remember when that was? The trumpet sound let the people know that God was coming down to meet with them. When they heard the sound, the people followed Moses out of the camp to meet with God. He showed Israel how he wanted them to live by giving them the Ten Commandments. All right. The next image, what do we think this one's going to be? A big stone. Where, where do we see stones in the big God story? What did God's people do with some stones from a river? That's right. They stacked up 12 stones as an altar to God after they crossed the Jordan River. What were the stones supposed to remind them of? Yeah, they were to remind them of how God brought them across through the desert, across the Jordan River, and into the promised land. God wanted all of the kids, grandkids, and great-grandkids, and so on and so forth from every generation to ask about the stones and remember that God leads the way. Y'all are doing great. Let's move on to the next image. I'm excited about this one. Oh, you guys know what this one is. That's right, it's the sun. So God made the sun and we can count on it every day to come up and go down. And we don't have to tell it to do anything because God does it all. And what part of the big God story did God's people need the sun to shine for a long time? No, oh, you guys got it. Joshua prayed to God for the sun to stand still while God's people were in battle so they'd be able to see. Can you imagine that? Wow, that was a big prayer request that God answered, but God can do it and God listens to us. All right, guys, I think we got one more image. Let's see what this one is. Oh, this one's interesting. This is wool, right? Wool is something, and it's sometimes used in clothing or blankets. There was someone in the Big God story who wanted a sign from God using wool. You remember who this was? Think uh, warrior. That's right. It was Gideon. Gideon asked God to make the wool fleece wet while keeping the ground dry. And then he asked God to make the ground wet while keeping the fleece dry. Hmm, what an interesting request. What did God ask Gideon to do in return? God wanted Gideon to lead God's people into battle to defeat their enemies. God promised to be with Gideon. And God also promises to be with you. God is our warrior. <laughs> so I just wanna thank you guys for joining me today as we remember and we celebrate what God has done and look forward to what God is doing in our lives. Just remember that we have so much to celebrate each and every day. 
And I hope you and your families take the time to just remember God and his promises and to celebrate his continuing work. I'll see you guys later. Wow, thanks, Mr. Leland. It's incredible to look back at all the ways that God was faithful to provide for and fight for his people and to look at all the ways he's been faithful to us. Our God is good. Thanks for remembering and celebrating with us this week. We'll see you guys next time.